This is a breaking news alert unlike anything we've reported before. What's happening right now beneath the city of Naples, Italy, could mark the beginning of something we were never prepared for. Today, the pressure beneath Campi Flagre, Italy's ancient supervolcano, is climbing faster than ever recorded, and the magnitude of earthquakes shaking the region is escalating by the day. Scientists are using one word again and again, unprecedented. For weeks, the residents of Naples have been jolted awake by tremors, small at first, but growing stronger. But over the last few days, the story changed. The ground didn't just shake, it moved. Satellite readings from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology now confirm that parts of the Pozzuoli region have risen more than five centimeters in a single month. That might not sound like much until you realize this is the same volcanic field that last erupted in the year 1538, flattening the land and reshaping the coast. Now it's swelling again. The magnitudes of earthquakes have climbed beyond 3.8, occurring in rapid succession. These are not isolated events. They are pressure releases, warning signs that the magma beneath Campi Flagre is moving, rising, and breaking through rock that has held for centuries. In recent press briefings, Italian geologists have broken their usual calm tone. Their words have become urgent. One researcher put it bluntly. We are running out of control parameters. The ground itself is changing faster than we can measure. And that's the chilling part. The scientists who study Campi Flagre have never seen this level of acceleration, not in frequency, not in depth, not in speed. For decades, the caldera has been inflating and deflating, breathing like a sleeping giant. But this time it's not just breathing, it's straining. Cracks are forming in new areas. Thermal anomalies are spreading wider. And the patterns match the precursor stages of other major volcanic events, from Mount St. Helens to Pinatubo. The difference is that Campi Flagre sits beneath a densely populated city. This isn't wilderness. This is Naples, one of Europe's most historic and crowded urban regions, home to more than three million people. Let's look at what's really happening under the surface. Imagine a massive underground chamber, a cauldron of molten rock stretching for kilometers beneath the Bay of Naples. This chamber is now pressurizing. The ground above it, the entire landscape, is rising unevenly. Sensors show uplift near Solfatara, one of the most active vents, where hot gas is already escaping through the soil, and the pattern matches magmatic intrusion when magma forces its way upward through rock layers. This is the same process that led to catastrophic eruptions in the past, from Rabal in Papua New Guinea to Santorini in Greece. But here's the real fear. Scientists now say Campi Flagre may have reached its tipping point, where even a small additional increase in pressure could cause rock failure. If that happens, it won't be a typical eruption. It would be an explosive decompression event, sending ash and debris across southern Italy, grounding flights, collapsing infrastructure, and forcing mass evacuations in a matter of hours. In neighborhoods across Puzzuoli, residents are already feeling the effects. Walls are cracking, roads are warping, steam is venting from the ground. People are scared, and they have every reason to be. Many remember the earthquake swarm of 1983, when over 10,000 people were evacuated, but this time the signals are stronger. Authorities are on alert, but locals say communication has been slow and confusing, some are demanding clearer evacuation routes and emergency plans. Videos are flooding social media, showing shelves shaking, ceilings cracking, and even pools rippling during night tremors. The fear is spreading faster than official information, and the uncertainty is feeding panic. The implications of an eruption here go far beyond Italy. Campi Flagre is classified as a supervolcano, capable of global climate impact. If it erupts on a large scale, it could release millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, 
reflecting sunlight and triggering what scientists call a volcanic winter. The last time something like this happened, at Tambora in the year 1815, it caused the year without a summer. And Campi Flagre's potential energy is far greater. Researchers estimate it could release energy equivalent to hundreds of nuclear bombs, reshaping not just southern Italy, but global weather patterns. Just days ago, seismic stations recorded the strongest swarm in over 70 years. The earthquakes are clustering closer to the surface, some as shallow as one kilometer deep. That's dangerously close to breaking point. Meanwhile, gas emissions have risen sharply. Carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide levels now double their previous readings. Thermal cameras show the ground temperature increasing around fumaroles and even near residential zones. Satellite imagery confirms it. The deformation zone is spreading. The uplift line that once surrounded Solfatara now reaches farther inland toward populated districts. These are not random fluctuations. They are coordinated signs of an evolving magma body. Inside Italy's INGV monitoring center, scientists have moved to round-the-clock observation. Their instruments now detect new harmonic tremors, continuous vibrations that often signal magma movement. The tone of recent briefings has shifted from academic to personal. As one volcanologist told La Repubblica, we are watching a sleeping beast, but lately, it feels less asleep. Even NASA satellites are now monitoring the deformation patterns as part of the European Space Agency's Joint Sentinel project. Every new reading points to the same conclusion. Pressure is building, and humanity has no real way to stop it. So, what happens next? There are two main possibilities. One, a new phase of degassing, where magma releases pressure slowly avoiding eruption but damaging infrastructure. Two, a critical rupture, where the brittle crust gives way, leading to an explosive release. Right now, both outcomes are possible, and that uncertainty is what terrifies experts most. Italy's Civil Protection Agency has already elevated the alert level, but experts say communication must now be clearer, faster, and more transparent before panic becomes chaos. Across the world, people are watching this story unfold, not as distant observers, but as witnesses to Earth's raw power. Campi Flagrari reminds us of one truth we often forget. We are not in control. The planet decides. And right now, the planet beneath Naples is sending a message, a deep rumbling warning that something ancient is stirring again. This is not fear-mongering. This is the data. This is the sound of the Earth reshaping itself, one tremor at a time. Stay alert, stay informed, and most importantly, stay prepared. Because if the past has taught us anything, it's that when the ground starts to rise, time starts to run out. This has been Geology Watch, bringing you the truth about our planet. No filters, no comfort, just the raw pulse of Earth. Subscribe and stay with us as we continue to track this story, because what happens next beneath Naples could change everything.